So welcome back, lovely this Pokemon show bring some Pokemon goodness for you. So guys, earlier a day before yesterday was the hashtag community day across all 90 games. So whether you play Pikmin Bloom, Ingress or Pokemon Go, let me know your experience in the comments down below. I will be sharing my experience of that in today's video. So guys, without getting any further ado, let's get started. First thing first, we talk about the Ingress event. So, guys, we did not get a uh, Ingress Community Day because Ingress Community Day only happens on the very first Saturday or the second Sunday of the month. But instead of that, we get a sponsored event for the Ingress, which is known as the phase third of the Kitha Anomaly. So, guys, and it will start from the Friday, June 24 until Monday, June 27 and 19 will deploy rare battle beacons on portals which are currently on the mandate on the intermal so basically the following cities will host a shards event like sydney australia uada japan new delhi india where we get a sponsored ingress event by niantic in india in new delhi greece spain south africa ontario usa peru riverside usa Basically, we did not get a community day. Instead of that, we get a sponsored Niantic event. I'm still learning about what Ingress is all about. And if you're a new Ingress player and if you want to learn what Ingress is all about, you can check a YouTuber known as Planet Gaming. The link in the description down below. Do check out his video. So, trainers is now talking about the Pikmin Bloom. So, guys, doing this Pikmin Bloom community day we are have to walk around 10,000 steps and completing that goal we will get a featured flower community day batch and we did successfully manage to do this because of the Pokemon Go ingress and pick and bloom we finally get our flower batch here and after that we have run around 30,000 steps on the community day of the Pikmin Bloom and also we have collect a lot of items so let's quickly collect those items from the expedition we get yellow seedling and we get various fruits feed and we also get a father's day event postcard which we did not collect it earlier from the Pikmin so happy father's day to all fathers now moving further we also get some seedlings and a lot more the fruits the oranges as per the labels we are in so let's quickly pluck the pikmin from the seedlings and we get it from the sweet shop the bakery one and let's quickly see our next pikmin what is gonna be from which place we get it from we get it from the park. We also get 10,000 step to seedling during the Niantic events. So be sure to put an eye on that and use the radar. Also guys, there is a fun thing going on in Pikmin Bloom which is to participate in a weekly challenge. And we have two options, either walk 20,000 steps or either walk one leg steps so let's quickly select the one leg steps enter the first one so let's start with this group are you ready yes i'm ready challenge is started and here we go so trainer now talking about the pokemon go community day experience so guys it was a blast for me we successfully hosted a community day meetup in Nishikesh and a lot of trainers has come along with us in our journey on community day also guys during this month community day 90 has a goal to achieve so guys for every person who walk 5 kilometers during this community day 90 will plant a tree in collaboration with ecosia so guys let's quickly claim our adventure sing rewards so guys we have successfully walk around 13 kilometer and we did our contribution to plant around three trees 
so what's your contribution let me know in the comments down below also guys we did successfully manage to get around 17 shiny dno and we successfully evolved one to get the exclusive move glutal swing and we did manage to gain around 2000 plus candies and 167 xl candies which are less to power up the dno to max level but it's okay i will do some trades and we will get that xl candies for sure also guys during this june community day mumbai did get a in person official meetup hosted by niantic if you want to see their community day meetup photos or videos you can check out their social media platform the link in the description below also guys around 200 plus players have joined the in person meetup hosted by niantic and pokemon go and they did make it a successful in person community day meetup in india earlier it was held in bangalore around 160 plus players have joined the my community featuring geodude and we did get a hope from that one that our community is no less than the others in the foreign countries and we will be growing as much as we can and we are doing our best to make our country proud for that one also cities like Lucknow, Hyderabad, Ahmedabad, Pune, Tiruvandapuram and many more cities did get a virtual activation during this Pokemon Go Community Day and they also hosted a meetups so if you want to see their photos, videos, meetups the link is in the description below you will get all those community photos, meetups there so trainer this is all for today's video it's now time to wrap up our video guys because the time demanding so hope you guys did enjoy this video so guys let me know in the comments down below how was your community day experiences in your area so guys if you want a uh, in-person meetup like mumbai and bangalore city gets so be sure to tag niantic and pokemon go app in so that the next time when you host up a meetup in your area it's going to be the in-person meetup hosted by niantic also guys don't be ashamed of the community players you have if you have three players four players five players that's okay because basically this game is all about community and togetherness and that's what we are doing here as a community so guys with that being said thanks for so watching don't forget to smash the like button subscribe if you are new and i will catch you guys in my next one maybe some exploration is waiting for us bye guys